What's up guys, this is the Rifle Man and I am back to bring the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as Denmark. So to round off on last time, in our hour special we spent a significant amount of time um, defending our army against... Defending um, England against the Maratha... not the Maratha Confederacy, the Mughal Empire hordes. And because we don't really have a strategic enemy anymore, uh, the Mughal Empire is the only... the only power which we have um, negative relations with. I mean, Spain is unfriendly. Um, but what I want to do is let's trade Spain. Oh, damn it, Spain. Let's try trade with Greece. Why not? Let's try trade with Venice. Nope. So I'm trading with everyone I can trade with and I'm only making about 10 grand a turn. So it's good that I've got my army over here in Nassau who is going to hop around and try and hoover up um, British colonies and also the Mughal Empire colony at Bunda um, because screw the Mughal Empire. What it's also done is it's made me want to attack the Indian faction. So I want to take um, Ceylon first as a base and then maybe hit Karnataka so I can easily reinforce it with troops across the strait. Um, but we also need to remember that I have to defend my territory. I mean this fort quite well covers quite covers the uh, the base of my Danish territories. I suppose I need to... I do have a good navy in the Baltic. Well, I'm starting to build a good navy. I've also got... Building up a dry dock so I can get superior ships. But I think the best thing to do is hit end turn. Oh, there goes more garrisons to the... To my fort, just in case the Russians get a bit antsy. The French have done a real number on the Native Americans. Um, the French own most of the... Most of the, the centre of the United States and lots of Canada. Um, Rupert's Town is available if I wanted to take it, but I think attacking some of the other colonies provides more interesting opportunities. Um, no, I don't want to give you an alliance first off. First off, and I also don't want to give you tech for only 4,800. No way, Jose. Sorry, Poland. But in this one, you've, you've betrayed me when I needed you the most. You let me down. And things without usually it's the Iroquois Confederacy taking Boston that triggers the United States to be involved to be born. Um but I don't know what difference that's gonna have. I don't know how it's gonna manifest itself in this campaign. So Newcastle can have another trade port. You don't need a happiness building yet, because you're already quite happy, and you're gonna get even more happy. As resistance to occupation goes down, so I might even demolish one of these things and build a another industry building. So you're still replenishing. Actually, I might try and. Oh, I've got no marines. I can actually absolve you with. So we can get grenadiers. There's no cool special units yet. Well, I probably want to get you. Have you no fusiliers? We have Newcastle's emerged, which we've dealt with. So we've got another fourth rate there, and a fourth rate. Well, another another navy actually being born in in the English Channel. Good stuff. Let's build handful more ships and then let's hop over to the Americas. Good, you're already replenished. Let's get you back a ship soon. Let's build a sloop to leave behind. Actually no let's not do that. That can it can interfere with the with the boarding and unboarding. Well embarking, disembarking. If you leave a ship behind but yes the this plan is still in action. And I wanted to have an, a navy here just to have a bit more of a warning or a heads up in case the damned Mughals try it on again. Ooh, you're about to get another port. Hoffen. Is that you? It is you. So you'll probably be 
You've got no tradable goods, um, but I'm probably just going to put a trade port in there anyway because there's no there's no real value to them growing that much. The port will at least help them grow economically. Am I building a great arsenal? Pretty sure I am. Yep, I am. Good, because I want those howitzers, especially if I'm attacking India. Let's hit end turn. I guess my last garrison troops to the fort. Not to provide um, a front against the Russians, but just to more hedge my bets. Um, because... Not the heck me, I just think they really want Finland. And if I keep knocking them back diplomatically, uh, actually, they'll get fed up. And at least I can have a, have a chance at breaking the tree. That and the fort already exists, so... Saved a cost of there. Yep. So they want to give me a lot. See, that's a lot of territory for the AI to give up. I mean, Sweden and Finland are very valuable regions, but want to give me Ukraine, Karelia, Arkhangelsk, and Bashrika. So here, 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 and here, which are really bad territories to, to get. Um, so no. They would need to literally give me Moscow for me to even consider it. And even then, I'd probably still say no, because border gore, and this is much more much more of a simple matter to defend against. Good, so the Palmer's got the coffee plantation. Let's upgrade it to a coffee warehouse to get more coffee into the trade, trade market. Good, so let's embark the army. So if I take these guys out, yeah, see, I can take them all out except one, and that will still leave the army behind. So let's go hit Jamaica. as the other British territory. Yeah, that's just an auto-resolve. So let's get my sloop back to Grand Bahama, just to hold the port. We build the barracks. I've got metal roads already. Jesus. Abundant yield of sugar. So you may see problems of this this place not being able to export as, not, as much sugar as it would like. You know, 16 loaves not exported. So making it even bigger is just going to exacerbate the problem. But then that adds us another, or will add another commodity onto our trade portfolio. Go take your cow, which is already being blockaded by someone, probably the pirates. I will probably end up knocking the pirates out. Hello? What's this? The Russians have taken the York factory. They've bought it from the Huron. So where have you given them in return? It's Dagestan. Or have you just... Ah! Comey. <laughs> Yay. How useful. What a valuable territory that is. So I think I might disperse my Norway garrison a bit. So let's send two infantry units and mountain troops down to Fort Kristinhov to help hold. And then I'm probably going to... I might leave them, them there for now. Can recruit blunderbuss shotgunners, but why would I? Okay, let's go check out tech. So, um, let's up Salah, I want you to keep going down the the enlightenment tree. And let's go for separation of powers. Dense. Which ones? How how inclined are you? Better at dueling. Something of upgrade military. Okay. I think Cambridge is the better military one. Upsala is good for domestic and is for, for philosophy and industrial, so I may as well just have a dense keep going down the industrial tree. Hmm. Population growth I don't necessarily care about. Copper bottoms? 
Recruitment cost and range and top speed. That's pretty good. Catch all. So let's get copper bottoms. Instead of reform naval administration. Ooh, that gets me late marines though. And it gets me the naval college. Might do that just because it gets me the naval college and opens up a lot more avenues later on. Hans Weiser. Become quite a good general in the colonies. Steady under fire. Darling of the gutter press and a corporal in your braid. So let's hold back to Europe and have a look. Just, visu just to visually check there isn't any Mughal navies coming my way. Then let's spend a bit of cash on... I know you're replenishing as much as you can do. The 11th Regiment of Foot is very elite. 40 accuracy. 25 reloading skill. Experience 5. It's pretty darn good. Um, oh yeah, you go to Portsmouth, don't you? Let's head in turn. Spaniards helping keep the trade lanes free, which is nice. No, you know what? I don't want an alliance with you, because you betrayed me when I called you in to help me out. You said no. Alliance with the Ottomans? No, well, it, it, it helped protect us against Hanover, but it also puts us against against Poland, which I don't necessarily want to be against Poland, and also against Spain, so no. Not that we'd be called into war with them, but I, it would imagine negatively impact relations. Russia wants trade for Iceland. What if I just do this and this? Good. They're very demanding a lot, these Russians. I think going down the alignment tree is the right thing to do because I'm not, I'm not getting much tax income and my economy is vulnerable to the Russians. Pirates, sorry. Race built galleon. Well, you guys are still replenishing, so I might send. Let's recruit a sloop. Let's upgrade the port. Let's take old, odd Bjorkman. Sent him out to go open up the port again. That's the end of them. Then let's repair the port. That's how it's got new roads. Great arsenals have been built. Military academy has been built. New trade post. So let's upgrade it again. So upgrade the iron workshops and upgrade to a weaver's cottage in London. Okay, so let's move my militia out of the port. Frederick Carlson. Move aboard ship with the fusiliers. Embark the army. Let's send the army. Actually, make sure to embark. Embark the agents. To send the navy to India. Let's bring war to the Mughal shores. Then there's a bit of a. Oh, there's another agent. There's another hedge. Let's just build a unit of line infantry to start building up. Um, a second army, because I don't know how well that one on its own is going to hold in India. Yep, so they've been sent off. My Baltic fleet is in decent shape. Trade agreement with Prussia cancelled, and that's not good. God, France is in Prague. So France has got Munich, Prague. They're, like, they're pushing through Central Europe. Let's have a look. 
Ooh, Roy Sudois. Roy Bavere. Lots of good units. Claude de Villa is a very good general. And has Dresden rebelled, or is it... I mean, it must have rebelled. Successfully. Prussia looks like it might be out for the count. So who's France at war with? Austria, Venice, Genoa, Portugal. So it looks like they're probably going to come down to Vienna. If they take Vienna and Venice, they'd be... That's quite a potent European power block. Odd Bjorkman's got an upgrade for commanding frigates, but these aren't frigates per se. Well, they're not. The ships are the line. Kidoki, let's hit and turn. Oh, God. Yeah, I'm really going to need a decent navy just to make sure Frand all of these armies lost with impunity. That could be quite a strategic weakness. Give me Bahamas for selective breeding. No! Just keep on ignoring me, Hanover. Don't try anything. And the pirate's going to be pirate. Good. Dry docks have kicked off, so I can recruit. Ooh, they're three grand apiece. Let's build a second rate in each of my main ports and... And the third. That's still a lot of cash. Let's recruit some more line just in case. You see, I'm still on 12 grand because I'm having to f supply or support quite a large army. And I've not got that tax base growth yet, but that's why it's really good to have a kick-ass university researching social policies because these are really handy for growth in town wealth. You're still not replenished yet. So let's leave my navy here for now because I'm more than happy to let this huge stack of ships <laughs> irritate the Spanish. I've not really got a need to do anything yet. It looks like they were under siege, or they've not repaired it at least. Prussia, oh, Prussia got Kadansk back, I think. Could probably do with upgrading some of my own industry. Industry. <laughs> industry, what a weird focus point. Okay, let's hit in turn. So, I mean, not a lot's happened in this part, um, but I do... It does allow me to keep things a bit more... secure. Like, right now I'm trying to... Ooh, they're offering me five grand for an alliance. Right, okay. Just because five grand would be handy, that's like half of my turn earnings. But now let's see where it means they will try and drag... Um, they're off me 22 grand for Jamaica. 22 grand. I mean, I think I, I think I got to do it because 22 grand for Jamaica. Jamaica earns me. Well, I mean, it's worth a thousand, but that's not how much it earned from. I probably earn about 300, ish. Say it's about 300, 400, 500 maximum. So if it earns me 500 a turn. What's that? Like 400 turns? I mean, assuming it doesn't grow, so the true value might be 200 turns. Or maybe 100 turns. But even if it's 100 turns, got to do it. So my army will get punted to um, the Bahamas. So then the Mughal territory will be the one that I... that also has a military military building in it. Let's immediately hop over to the Americas. 
Oh no, because we're allies, we just get evicted. Alright then. Let's get aboard ship. Immediately. Seek a new home. Ooh, interesting. Drop him off. Nah, that seems okay. Let's blockade the port. Awesome. Got some good tech advances. So go for reorganized procurement increases upkeep, which I'm not really sure what I want. Saves me money in the long run with the recruitment cost. Because I'm probably going to have to expand my army quite significantly. But I am probably going to want to do some industrial techs, even though you are spe especially good at military, I think. I forced them down this route to go for quicklime to use against the Indians. The fleet has arrived in theatre, so immediately let's go for Ceylon. It's just pirates, what are these, like, rebels? The Maratha rebels? So let's go ahead and spend all of this cash money I've got on me. Probably build walls as well, because I want to defend this. Upgrade all of this. Just spend the money on a nice little cash grab. Let's hop back to Europe, because I just remembered I've got industry here I need to upgrade as well. So great you. Ooh, and I've got new roads, measuring tools, me metal roads, sorry. So 10 grand metal roads for Sweden. London already has it. Copenhagen. So I can look at my most valuable regions first. It's Norway, I think. Awesome. I mean, it's not recruit any grenadiers or cavalry just yet, as tempting as it would be. Oh, yeah, they're on the march. No, 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 don't, don't do anything like that. Just, just watch. I mean, I fancy the AI's chances in Vienna more so than French. Lots of cavalry, no artillery, no chance. Ceylon is ours, because it's just a, a worthless rebel fight. Actually, let's take my navy out like this. Deploy my spy. Let's put him to work. Frederick Carlson, a happy drinker. Okay, so next turn, it's going to be a bit of a fight on Krakow against the Marathas. Ooh, no. I don't want to give you good tech for an alliance. Especially if they're giving me bad tech and a bit of cash. They're definitely getting the better of this, especially with something like Socket Bayonet, because that's just a very useful overall upgrade of your entire armed forces. I mean, they'll get it eventually, but it's just so generally useful. I mean, I don't know for sure. <laughs> Don Voisko, Archangels, and Ukraine. No. Well, if they thought for a minute on the Mughal Empire, what are they up to? Oh, pirates have come in. Oh, what a result. Ah. Don't chase me down, pirates. I'm just a brig. Leave a poor brig alone. Oh, they captured it as well. Catastrophe. I think they must have just taken it for the cash then. And they're blockading the Marathas for me. There the Mughals for me. Land suitable for farming in this oh, yeah. Wetlands. OK, 
I need to upgrade this this area as fast as possible so I can just stop pumping out company line infantry and sepoys. Fleet stride. Ooh, good. So this is going to be the start of a new European Navy under Frederick Bergson. These guys up here are going to join my Baltic fleet. Good stuff. I can see you. Okay, let's have a look at Prestige. So where are we? We're not even down. We're we not even here. What? We're not even on here. Normally it shows you, at least. I can't be that much worse than everyone else. It's definitely not us, because that's 13 colonies. Huh. No sense of shame. Oh, that's one of my gentlemen. Okay. Election results. I think that's generally everyone that was recruited before. Two people who are generally good. Well, they're positive. I could, get, could gamble for maybe a bigger one, but... Okay, let's hop over to here. And because we've not had a battle, let's uh, let's do I ooh, do I attack him? I think I do. They're quite depleted. They're quite depleted, so it should be a fairly simple affair. Even though I've just got lots of conscripts to just shoot the hell out of them and they won't be able to stop me they've got some cavalry but we can form squares good stuff so let's deploy out right on the wing put our artillery up high core of line infantry in the centre some conscripts out on the flank and let's give let's give each flank some cavalry some heavy horse cavalry good okay let's redeploy our army quickly Good, the seat musketeers are moving out. Let's bring up the cavalry. They, yep, yeah, they're they're doing it too. Let's move up the cavalry fast. Oh no, they are just redeploying them to another position. It's not a... God, killed the general. Because of a miss against the artillery, I suppose. Oh yeah, my general's bodyguard. Okay, we want to do something like this. There we go. Opening shots. Oh, hold fire so they don't kill my conscripts. Now fire. Come on, the seventeenth.
Okay, so we're out of range of their bows, but we can start to fire some more shots against against the artillery, kill the gunners. Let's redeploy the artillery against the camel and nomads. Camel nomads are aware. So let's form this flank and also provide me a gap to move my cavalry through. Okay, it's too late to form square. Let's bring in the heavy cavalry. Yeah, I might still form square, just because it might screw them up somewhat. Here you go. Don't know when the bonuses kick in. Get out of line quickly. Stuff going on the center. Shooting my artillery to the general's bodyguard. Ooh, lots of good hits. Is it just levy? Oh no, they've got they've been routed, so let's. Why don't we just holding the line? Let's go after the garrison musketmen. It's not hitting our line. The thin, thin red line will hold out. Camels are attacking my conscripts. That's probably an exchange I would like. Just to pick at their camels. There you go. Massive route in the center. So immediately flip you guys around. Ah, the camel nomads have gone in against the, against the cavalry. Fusiliers are getting charged by camels, that's not ideal. I mean, they can charge my conscripts, fair enough. Come on, draw them into the square. Smash the mus musketeers with my heavy cavalry. And run my conscripts out the other side of the square. Good, they're all done for. this. Let's bring my horse my heavy cavalry up. Oh no, they might beat the musketmen still. I don't want all of them, I want everyone by you. So a push up. So still a unit of dervishes and some elephants. Let's 
So I'm gonna off the musketman. General's had enough. General's getting shot to pieces. Where is his Royal Highness? Oh, he's dead. <laughs> this is just his guard. Oh, you poor souls. Present. Fire. Broken in a single volley. Continue. Run them down. You don't have to, but it's nice. That's enough of you. Hold my artillery fire in case a stray shell kills kills my general. Let's keep on, keep on running. Good. Enemy slaughtered. Go after the dervishes. Just cut them all down. Soak up that tasty, tasty experience. Look at that. Lovely. Decisive victory. Damn right it was a decisive victory. Suck it, man. 433 losses for the entire destruction of the enemy force. Let's bring... Oh, it's a pirate. I was about to say, let's bring our ship back. Let's put my general in the port to make sure they don't break it. So as usual, let's do some experience boogaloo just to make sure we don't, don't lose as many men as possible. Although to be honest, they're all... No, no, no one's quite depleted apart from this, you know, Fusil is. I think I might even just gamble it, just replenish the whole lot. And you need roads. Awesome. But looking at the timer, I think that's the end of this part. So thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed, and we'll see you next time for the continuing adventures of Denmark. Cheers, guys.